easy game and uh, you know Mr. Pfizer we kind of shut him down a little bit he didn't have you know his like crazy impact game the internet is breaking ladies and gentlemen Aaron Roger calls out Travis Kels calling him Mr. Pfizer welcome back to the JP reacts channel my beautiful freedom loving friend where we like to call out the lies hypocrisy and corruption of tyrants shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters by the way at the end of this video I want to tell you about something special but first, the internet has broken. Just a beautiful wave of Aaron Rodgers. You probably have followed this story a little bit. Travis Kels, uh, Kansas City Chiefs player. That's football. He uh, accepted a, oh, just a really heartfelt endorsement from Pfizer. I'll show you that ad in a second. And then Aaron Rodgers, who is one of the all-time greats in the NFL, certainly made waves when he stood on principle and refused the Pfizer <clears throat> mandate from the NFL. So he's known for that, which is awesome. Like he's known for standing on his principle. He made his choice rather than being obedient. And then Travis Kels comes out. He's like, hey, Pfizer, what? You're going to pay me that much? Of course I'll endorse it. Comes out with just an absolutely shameless advertisement. And then recently on the Pat McAfee show, Aaron Rodgers is being interviewed. His team, the Jets, which he's out for a while, torn Achilles tendon. His team, the Jets, played the Kansas City Chiefs. Pat McAfee and co-host A.G. Hawk were debriefing with Aaron Rodgers about the game. Let's take a look at what Mr. Rogers had to say. It's gonna be people trying to get us to fracture even after a game where, you know, I think there's some sentiment that there's some sort of moral victory out there that we hung with the, you know, with the champs and and that, uh, you know, our defense played well and, and you know, uh, Pat didn't have a crazy game and, uh, you know, Mr. Pfizer, we kind of shut him down a little bit. He didn't have, you know, his like crazy impact game. Now, by the way, watch the, the two hosts, Pat McAfee and A.J. Hawk, yeah, on the left and right of Aaron Rodgers. Watch their continued reaction. You can tell they're both thoroughly amused and probably a little bit apprehensive and scared about potential controversy coming from this. It's, it's poetic. Obviously, he had, you know, some yards and stuff, but I felt like for the most part, you know, we played really tough on defense, especially the last three quarters. And um, By the way, Aaron Rodgers gets an A-plus for comedic delivery. I do believe he was saying that in good nature. He's a very intelligent person, so he just slipped it in, straight face, dry humor. He's got his audience just losing their crap, but Aaron Rodgers doesn't miss a beat. He just keeps going like he didn't say anything outrageous, which is a masterful comedic delivery. Hats off to you, Aaron Rodgers. But next, let's take a look at what I would call the shameless endorsement that Travis Kels posted with Pfizer. Keep in mind, there is some shadow side of the product that he's endorsing that we're not allowed to talk about, at least on YouTube. And that shadow side, it carries some life-altering consequences for some people, unfortunately. So keep in mind, this athlete, he's being paid money to endorse something that has the potential to have harmful consequences that we're not allowed to talk about here. So I will say that's on his conscience. He's got the responsibility of people who follow his influence. He's responsible for that. Yet he accepted an endorsement. I don't know for how much money, but we do know is Pfizer is one of the largest criminal organizations on the planet. They're like, ah, no, the pharmaceutical company. They've paid the largest criminal fine in the U.S. history, $2.3 billion. It's a criminal fine, the largest one in U.S. history. That makes them a criminal organization. Legally, they are criminals. So Travis Kels accepted money from them. And here's what it looked like. Did you know you can get this season's COVID-19 shot when you get your flu shot? Oh, two things at once. Two things at once! Two things at once! <laughs> Two things at once! It's so cute and charming. Have, uh, two things at once, please. Now, back to two things at once. Two things at once. That's not two things at once. Mom! Travis, ask about getting this season's COVID-19 shot when getting your... And that's the iconic image. The band-aids. He got two things at once. The flu and the... It's great. It's great. I think he deserves to be called out. Yeah, obviously you know where I stand on this whole thing. Not a fan of Pfizer. I am a fan of freedom though. I think this is 
probably the comment of the year by Aaron Rodgers calling, calling Travis Kels Mr. Pfizer. By the way, Travis Kels, he's all in the headlines, not just for the <laughs> Pfizer vaccine <laughs> endorsement, but I guess he and Taylor Swift have a romantic interaction. So he's all in the headlines about that, but I love the Aaron Rodgers generated headlines about him. Makes more sense to me. Now, before you go, I wanna tell you about something special. I wrote a children's book. It's just been released. It's called Chomp, 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 The Snap Fast Challenge. It's an entertaining, engaging children's story to deliver an important message. What is that message? I'll tell you in a second. First, I partnered with Brave Books, who specialize in children's books, bringing pro-freedom, pro-America, pro-God messages to children. When we're living in a world where there's dangerous ideologies aggressively competing for space in the minds of children, I don't like it, I'm a father, I see it as one of the biggest problems in the world, yet I, know, I realize we need not just to protect children from those messages, we need to provide better alternatives that actually instill good values, good positive messages in children. So this is my contribution to it. It's all about peer pressure and it's taking place in the landscape of social media, it's relatable to children. Why peer pressure was so important to me, relevant to this video we just covered past three years, we've seen how adults who haven't been educated and having a strong connection to their own mind and their own heart, and therefore not the courage to live by their own mind and the, their own heart, we see what peer pressure looks like expressed through adults the past few years. It's called obedience. And I don't think any man, woman, or child is going to have a happy, meaningful life when they're living from an obedient mindset. So I put that message in book form for children. It's the number one message I wanna instill in my son, which is follow your own heart, follow your own thinking, and have the courage to do so. So I wanted to provide a children's book to the world where other families, other children can have that same message that I wanna instill in my son. You can check it out at bravebooks.us. You can also subscribe to Brave's Family Plan, which is amazing, or just grab the book itself. I would be honored if you checked it out, brought it to kids in your life or families in your life. Check it out, link is in the description below, bravebooks.us. Thank you for watching my friends. I'll see you on our next video.